The 3D files for this build were purchased on Etsy from Products of Design. I'll have a link in the description below. This is what the app piece looks like when all the parts are inserted into Mesh Mixer. There are a total of 22 separate parts. Each part will be individually printed on the 3D printer with PLA or TPU filament. I decided to print this large piece using TPU filament. Since TPU is flexible, the ab plate will easily follow the contour of my body, as opposed to using PLA, which would produce one large rigid piece that looks bulky and is difficult to wear. I'll have a link to the TPU I used in the description below. Here are all 22 3D printed parts. Each one of the parts will be smoothed using the soldering iron and sandpaper. The soldering iron is used to smooth out the edges of the larger pieces and remove some excess material. The large flexible TPU piece is covered with Alex Flex spackle and then is hand sanded. The remaining PLA parts are sanded with 120 grit sandpaper. Once initial sanding is complete, the parts are ready to be assembled. Okay, so I went right from sanding to putting all the pieces together and the reason I didn't film most of this is because it took a lot of trial and error since this is flexible filament. It was very difficult to get these pieces to fit in, but I'll just go over the process that I used and, and then I'll put this last piece in on video. So mainly what I did is I, I made that, I made sure that it was roughly the same size as the opening. And then I put super glue around the edges, stuck that in, uh, flipped the piece over, and then I took the soldering iron and I melted the pieces together uh, for a secure fit. So once this is all done, uh, it will be primed and then sanded but I just wanted to explain why most of it wasn't done on camera just because it was so difficult and I was having trouble uh, figuring it out. All the parts have been primed and are sanded again with 240 grit sandpaper. The second round of sanding will eliminate any existing divots and scratches. After the parts have been sanded, they are ready to be painted gloss black or metallic silver. This is the ab plate after the first coat of black paint has been applied. As you can see, there's tape on certain parts here. So those will remain this gloss black and the portions that are not taped will be painted metallic black. The remaining parts are attached to the main ab piece using super glue. Craft foam is added to the inside of the ab piece to ensure it is comfortable to wear.
Well, that's it for this build. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more content. Until next time.